Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dee. I am a Saint Beauty artist and I also am a DIY lash enthusiast. So all about DIY lashes, but obviously today, if you clicked on this video, you are interested or possibly interested in Saint Beauty. So what I wanted to do this video on is a quick kind of contour and highlight video uh, for beginners. I have used makeup for my whole entire life. I absolutely love makeup, but nothing is easier than using the Saint Method. And one thing that I absolutely love about it is it is different than other cream products. I have used cream products in the past with other brands because I have very dry skin and powder just does not work for my skin. So I have used other cream products and they do not blend out as well and work together as well as the Saint Beauty stuff. So I wanted to kind of take you through how I do my makeup, a super, super easy to, way to contour, get that dimension, get the look that you're going for, for beginners. So I'm gonna start out today. I have my compact here and I have, these come in variety of different sizes. So this is a double decker, I think it's called. So it has two different layers in it. You can also do one layer as well. So you get to choose and pick what works for you. If you don't want a gazillion colors, go for something really, really simple. You can go for, I think this one's even bigger. It's a double decker with even bigger. So you, everything is in one compact. It's super easy to travel with, all that jazz. So what I'm gonna do before we even really get into the video, I just wanted to come on and show you guys what I got working, what I'm working with. Um, last night I had wine and I know this about myself and I continue to do it for whatever reason. When I have wine, when I wake up the next morning, my face is very, very red and blotchy. And you can see here, like it's just a hot mess. So before I even get into like my main stuff, what I like to do is start color correcting. I always take my blending brush, this little, um, guy, this little end and you can see here, I have pretty bad dark eye circles. Now these are more prominent because I did stay up late last night. I did drink one too many glasses of wine. I ate way too much salt, all that stuff. So my face is just going crazy right now. So what I'm gonna do is grab these two colors here. This is what I personally use for color correcting. If you are not sure what products to use, click the link below and I can color match you. And if there are certain things that you're trying to cancel out, like dark eye circles, redness, that sort of thing, I can help provide suggestions on what colors might help with that. But these are the two colors that I use for my under eye area. This is sunlight and then this is actually a cheek color, it's called Frenchie. But these are perfect because the sunlight has, or sunlit I think it's called, has yellow undertones. I have blues in here and then the Frenchie helps to correct the purple under here. So I have like purple, green, and blue all going together and these are the two that I mix together to do that color correcting. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So next what I'm gonna do for color correcting is I'm gonna go in with the color June. So as you can see, it kind of has, I mean, in the camera it looks a little bit yellowy, but in person it has this tinge of a green undertone. And that really helps with my skin of canceling out the redness. I always go in with a buff brush. I, and the whole point of color correcting is to create a very, very sheer wash of color. You're not packing the stuff on, you're just trying to cancel out that color so that when you go in with your regular shade, you know, color shade or main highlight, that it looks flawless and you don't see those undertones kind of peeking through. So what I do, I'm just gonna do this really quick, is I don't normally do this on a day-to-day -day basis because my skin is normally not this red, but because I'm having a bad skin day, I have to go in with a couple more uh, different products to help cover up that stuff. And you can just see there, I mean, that is with a little bit of product, you can see how much difference that really makes. So what I normally do at this point is I go in with a sponge. Now, Saint has their sponge or whatever. To be completely honest, I prefer the Real Techniques orange spun sponge compared to it. This is, in my opinion, better than like the Beauty Blender and all that stuff. But basically what I do is every time I do a layer of product, I like to go in and just 
take the sponge. Now I do a dry one. Some people do a damp one. For me, my skin personally, I find that a dry one helps me kind of even it out and push the product into my skin. If I dampen it, then it feels like it's moving the product around just because my skin is so super dry. So I would say try both methods and see which one works for you. But no matter what, which one works for you, this is a great step because it helps you even out that product, make sure there's no brush marks or there's not like a pack of color, but then it also helps to kind of push that product into your skin and that's really gonna help it look natural and, and natural. So now that I've kind of color corrected, I'm able to go in or ready to go in with my regular colors. So basically what I'm gonna do today, I'm just gonna use these two colors here. You can tell I use this a lot. This is my main highlight color. Um, I am the color Aurora. I fluctuate between Aurora and white peach, but I leveled up because I felt like it looked better with my skin. And then the contour I use is ash. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna show you guys um, well, I'm just gonna, I do have a little bit more redness, so I'm gonna go in with a brush. Now, probably seen like the cheetah hack method and the smear, and if you follow me on Instagram, you can see the different variations that I do my makeup. Sometimes I smear it, sometimes I dot it, just really depends on what I'm going for. A lot of times I will put all the product, the colors on all at once, and then just kind of blend it out because it's super, super quick. But what I'm gonna do today, because I do have a little bit more to cover, and my skin is not acting the way it normally is, I'm gonna go in with a brush because I'm able to get a little bit more coverage. So basically, I'm gonna go in first with my light, or my main highlight shade, the lighter color, and I'm just gonna put that all, all over. Now normally, I don't put it all the way up where my contour is, I'm just kind of bringing it in. But like I said, my skin is a little crazy, so I need a little bit of extra color. And you can see here, while I'm doing this, I'm, I'm not spreading the product in, I'm really kind of bouncing it on my face. That's really going to help to push the product in, get a better coverage, get better coverage, and um, really work the product. So you don't necessarily wanna go like that. That's just going to drag the product down. You really just wanna put it there and then just kind of bounce it into your skin. Now I do drag it down here just because I want that to be an even transition. Okay, so again, next I'm gonna take the beauty sponge and I'm just going to go over it and just make sure that everything is blended in well, that there's no like extra area with um, a little bit more coverage. And I'm just going to push this into my skin. One thing that I've been doing lately is I've been taking the edge of it, dipping it into my main highlight, like that, and then just putting it on my nose. And I'm finding that because my tip of my nose is always the, like, for whatever reason, always red, um, I find that this, applying it with a sponge, helps it to stay on a little bit more and it looks more natural than the brush. Like, you don't get any of those blush, brush marks. My poor skin like I can see texture and all that stuff because that's what wine does to me I remember every single time I drank it just my skin the next morning is like what did you do okay the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna take that same brush and we're going to go ahead and contour so what I like to do is for this because it really is gummy proof I'm going to take my finger in it I'm gonna put it like that put it like that. I like to do this because then I can really put it exactly where I want it. And they're really, I mean, you can always fix it. So even if like this one's a little bit higher, it's gonna even out. But if you end up putting too much product on and it's like, holy crap, which usually happens with blush, you can fix it. It's so easy to layer these on top of each other. So basically I'm gonna take this brush. This is the 3D uh, brush. 3D foundation brush. And again, I'm doing that same method and I'm just pushing, bouncing, moving this into my skin. Okay, you can see on this side, got a little bit like crazy. This side is pretty good. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the main highlight on my brush 
and just kind of go over the edges with it because I really want that contour. Now I am taking way longer than I normally do. When I do my makeup in the morning, it's, I can do my face makeup in five minutes. In and out, no big deal, um, but obviously it takes a little bit longer when you're talking through stuff. But I am putting a little bit more product than I normally would just because it calls for it. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with that blend brush and I'm going to put a little bit more emphasis or coverage under my eyes because those dark circles are peeking through really bad. Okay, so that is that. I'm gonna go in like this. It's always harder to do when you have fake eyelashes on because you have to like work around them. But there you go. Last but not least, I'm gonna go in with my cheek color. So this is the color Hollywood. I'm just gonna put it up here. And I am going to take my buff and blush brush. Buff, 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 buff and blush brush. I say that three times fast. I'm just going to, there you go. Super easy contour. I know my mate, my hair looks like a hot mess, but that is that. Now, it doesn't look all put together because obviously I need to do my eye makeup, I need to do my eyebrows and my lower mascara and everything, but that's pretty it for the face. I'll come back and show you kind of the finished look, but it's super, super easy. It is so easy, this makeup method for beginners. They work well together. And if you go too crazy with your contour or your highlight or um, your contour or your bronzer or your blush, you can fix it. And it is so, so, so easy. That method right there was a lot longer than what I normally do, but you can go in and do the smear method or the cheetah hack method and have your makeup done in less than five minutes. It is amazing. So let me go ahead and finish my rest of my makeup and you can see the final look. Okay, that is it. That is the finished look. I will link all the details below of exactly all the colors I use, all the brushes that I use, but also the eyeshadows that I use. They are also same. Let me know if you have any comments in the questions. This is the one compact look. Let me know if you want to be color match, have any recommend or if you want me to recommend any specific colors for you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Until next time, bye.